It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Oh hell yeah, son, Bentley saves the gang in. Jailbreak! <laughs> oh, this is probably my favorite chapter in the game, I'm not gonna lie. It's just so great seeing Bentley come out onto his own and save the day. He's gonna do it. He can handle this. He's on his own, but that don't matter. He can do this. He's Bentley. Let's roll. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. That would be helpful. Oh, and, uh... Hello and welcome back to more Sly Cooper 2, Band of Thieves. I am the Mechs of your trades. In the last part, well, Sly and Murray kind of got arrested, but we were betrayed. It was not due to lack of skill, but merely a, I guess, overabundance of trust and compassion that did us in. It's very unfortunate. Luckily, Bentley was not there. He was not arrested. And now he's off to save the team. Because look at this guy. This is the, this is the steely nerves of a man who has nothing left to lose. Okay, well, a subway car got in the way of my tranquilizer dart. <laughs> so that's all kinds of not cool. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with some big bad vultures. Makes sense, we're going up against a giant black widow spider. It's all too fitting and proper. That's, you know, another stereotypically, you know, evil creature. I mean, vultures and spiders aren't any more evil than any other creature in the world. It's just, for some reason, people decided, yeah, it's just, you know, why not? They look spooky and, and creepy and crazy. Let's just assume they're the villainous animals. I mean, it's the same reason we think owls are smart, when they're actually very stupid. <laughs> A lot of the he space in their heads is devoted purely just to holding their giant eyes. In fact, even in the bird kingdom, they're considered pretty dim. Right, that's besides the point. Let's see. As much as I would like to go about collecting all of them clue bottles, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna really have the option for that. Bentley isn't really known for his climbing expertise. He's known for thinking his way out of situations. So we're gonna have to rescue Sly before we're able to make any real progress on that front as I slowly, methodically, make my way to where I need to be and blowing up everybody on the way there. It's nice to have some new enemies to go up against, though. I mean, sure, yeah, functionally, they're exactly the same as everything we've gone up against, but, you know. It's different. It's a different model, and I'll take it. I'm having a very hard time figuring out where you want me to go, game. Oh, hang on. I see the pillar of green light. There it is. All right, don't mind me, everybody. Bentley's just on the move. Bentley is going to save the day. Okay, I thought maybe I could break that. I was mistaken. Try not to let yourself get caught. Now we have some kind of man bat. Get out of here with that. There's the money. <laughs> okay, can't seem to do much with that. And it's clear I have to be in there. So... It's looking like Siddling might be my only option. I feel like I haven't really expressed just how much I truly enjoy this game. 
and the Sly Cooper franchise as a whole. Kind of goes way back to uh, my original, uh, an original old rant of mine, where it seems like creativity is kind of frowned upon these days in the video game landscape, you know? And I mean that in the sense that for the longest time, ever since we've gained such, what you know, grandiose and wonderful, you know, graphical upgrades and the like, it seems like if you don't put every ounce of money and energy you have into making something, I don't know, super realistic, it, it just, it's, you know, there's almost no chance in actually being able to make it anywhere. And it's really distressing to me about that. Even the more cartoonish games, unless they come directly from Nintendo themselves, eh, even they don't do so hot. It's just, mm, it's frustrating is all I'm trying to say. I mean, back in the day, you had to be clever. You had to know what you, you had to come up with some unique ideas. You had to work around the restrictions and the technical limitations of the console you were working on. And that led to some wondrously creative ideas and the like. I mean, are you seeing what I'm doing right now? I am a hyper-intelligent turtle who is the brains of an international crime gang led by a raccoon and helped by a hippo. And I gotta break them out of jail from a giant black widow spider! Forget about it, man, that's just cool! Man, there are a lot of people trying to kill me right now. <sighs> Bentley's having trouble. I'm just saying, I don't think I don't think a game studio could do that. The closest I can think now to a game that's had any modicum of you know, actual success that's also incredibly silly and cartoony is maybe a hat in time. Another game that I very much need to play at some point on this channel! Alright, you know what I want more than anything? To not be under attack. But I mean, really, think about it. Ah, sorry, Bentley. I mean, all of the well-known cartoony developers outside of Nintendo have long since a well, essentially abandoned their their more cartoony roots in order to establish themselves as more big-time AAA developers, you know? Insomniac had to kind of sideline Ratchet and Clank so they could make things like Resistance and Spider-Man, and Naughty Dog gave up their ways of Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter to make Uncharted and The Last of Us. Even Sucker Punch themselves, the creators of this series, kind of had to move on and make Infamous. And when Sly 4 finally did manage to come out, it had to be made by the people who were behind the port that I'm playing right now! It's just... it's disheartening is what it is. And I, and I don't even blame the companies themselves, honestly, I don't. They had to do what they had to do in order to survive in the market. So, I mean... What, 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 was, what, what, what would I expect them to do in, in, instead? Stick with, stick with what they were doing, end up possibly failing, and ending up having to, I don't know, go out of business entirely? I don't want none of that. Man, it sure is hard. Being stealthy. Could you, could you please stop dunking me in the water? Oh, wow, this is, this is just going poorly. This is going so very poorly. Anyone else think it's a little, I mean, I get, it's a little weird that Bentley is a glass cannon, as much as he is. I mean, don't get me wrong, I get it, because, you know, he's, he's the fragile, you know, more, not so much direct combative related character in the group. I get that, but at the same time, it's like, damn, you're a turtle, man. You should be a little bit more durable, I feel. But yeah, that's basically the long and short of it. People had to move on and do the grim and gritty realism nonsense. Of course, I do. I guess I say grim and gritty realism nonsense, you know, when, you know, like Naughty Dog ended up making a game about freaking mushroom zombies. So, in a sense, the creativity is still there, but they still need to have realistic people and they have to implement socio ecological. You know things that are going on in today's culture. Oh, what's 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 the what's the things going on in today's culture? We gotta gotta make sure we stay relevant and inclusive and all that other stuff. You're not really encouraged to just have fun making video games anymore. Everything has to be like a super mega blockbuster, or it's considered complete and total shovelware at this point. 
and it's just really, really depressing. I don't like it. And seriously, think about any of those, you know, fun little quirky games that you've been you've played before. Even even current really massively popular ones like Shovel Knight. Like, oh yeah, sure people like it and it's a good game, but do people consider it one of the greatest things ever? Do they put it on the exact same level as all the other AAA million billion dollar budget games out there? I don't think so. I certainly put it along those echelons, but I am not the majority. I've slowly but surely learned that very clearly over my many years in life. Uh, that's totally besides the point. At long last, I feel like I finally made it to where I'm expected to be going. Awesome! Let's actually do Aha, stuff. The Contessa is out making her rounds. That's disturbing. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. That'd be helpful. Of course, she would also have to not notice... Oh, that's gross. She'd also have to not notice the darts. The claw gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have almost stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Ta-da! <laughs> Turns out, she's evil! Go figure! All right, I guess I'm just gonna kind of assume you're gonna jump over here again at some point. The second I relent is the second that they, she is going to jump back up into that very specific location. Mm. Okay, where are you going? 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 You're over there! Ah! Those fools at Interpol! They keep sending me criminals, and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Hmm, go figure. <laughs> I feel like not many people have sort of really thought about that because, uh, well, hypnosis doesn't work in the real world. Here it does. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. Yeah, you'd be surprised, actually. I mean... We do okay. Really, honestly, it seems like we spend more time just kind of like showing off. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work. I sure am lucky she's just talking to herself like this. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional. Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of. Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot. It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. Which is kind of impressive. Get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Yeah, as much as I want to help Murray, it's definitely the better call to take to try and figure out how to get Sly back first. He's the nimble one. Okay, off we go. Let's just run and run and run and run and hopefully these gargoyles decide they don't want to murder me. That sure would be really helpful if they didn't come to life. Oh wait, never mind. There they are already. Hey! Running away now. 
Running at the speed of turtles. Actually, I make fun. But I think there's actually an upgrade that Bentley can get. That I should have thought about. Oh, boy. <laughs> ow, 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 yes. Congratulations, you have shot me. Good job. Oh, wait! W Wolfman! Dude looks a lot like one of those dudes from Universe 6 in Dragon Ball. I'm just saying! The guy with the poison fists. Uh, it's just serendipitous is all I'm saying. And I think he might be able to learn it here. Let's see. Yep, it's adrenaline burst. Run like a turtle has never run before. Except I have absolutely no money and I cannot get that. That is such a bummer. I'm going to need my friends back in order to get the money to get that, because it's a really good ability. Part of, a control system for the electromagnetic train. of course. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for a slide to escape through. And I'd like to see their motion detectors stop at me from doing this. Okay, I almost let myself get run over, but I didn't. And that's really the more important part that I feel like not enough people are pointing out. Alright, first things first, let's take care of uh, Vultureman over here. There you go. Bye-bye, old friend. I'm just gonna grab some extra extra monies. I'll take what I can get where I can get it. Mm. All right, let's do some hacking. Here we go. Uh, like a good computer hack job. Now mm. the left analog stick should I wish hacking was this easy in real life. Except no, I don't because then, whoa, man, the right there would be a lot more hackers in the world. In the direction I want to unleash my hacker by using both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. Indeed. Don't worry, Bentley. I've been at this game a while, okay? I think I know how to hack in Sly Cooper 2 Band of Thieves. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. Yes. I also feel like I should wait for it to make a pass before I decide to walk along it. Come on. Actually, hang on a second here. I got my snooze bombs and size destabilizer. There we go. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Ah! That's how it works. Okay. Now we run! We run, 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 run so fast! Oh, Lord! Well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> how did... How are they concurrent like that? How did... How does... How do the cars go both directions on the same track? There's no way to turn... There's nowhere to turn around! That's a waddle lot of hooey right there! Don't appreciate it. Yes, I hear the ting-ting-tings of the bottles. But I also he hear here the lack of any ability to do anything about it. Hang on, is that where I'm supposed to go specifically? I guess so. Very well. Far be it for me to, you know, question where the green pointy things go. Yeah, you better run, you weird little train car thingy. The thing about motion detectors is they can't do a whole lot when you've weaponized a small train to fly through the building. It's like, oh sure, they'll see it coming for about five and a half seconds before completely pancakes them. Hopefully I don't crush Sly in the process. I'm kind of rolling off the assumption he's nimble enough to just get away with it. Which I could totally buy. And click click. Two down, four more to go. Uh, Spend as little time on the track itself as I can get away with, because my goodness! There it is. That's the one I thought I was supposed to be going to, but I guess I gotta go in order. How lame! And over here, we've just got a bunch of dudes. They're just gonna keep coming back over and over again. They don't have- they- they, they have no limits. I will destroy them! Yeah! Ow. One way or another. So slowly... This is what hacking looks like, people. Like an old Atari game. 
Well, I mean, this is slightly... <laughs> this is slightly like, too high resolution for an Atari, but... You know, the point still stands. That's basically what this is supposed to be in reference to, and... Nope! That there should you go. speed up the train by at least 50%. That is exceptionally fast for a train. Which, of course, also makes it harder to avoid <laughs> in trying to not getting run over. Ugh. Running, 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 running. Oh! There we go. Just barely. We're getting there, though. I see you over there. Ah, yeah, ah. Not today. Not today, I say. Nay, nay. Hook, hook, hook. There we go. Now I'll just little, hi I'll hide in my little hidey hole here, and they'll just kind of keep falling directly into my bullets, I guess, because they're not very, they're not a very smart protective code. You need better security systems, I swear. Brain dead toddler could waddle their way all up in here. And trust me, I know a brain dead toddler. Of course, don't tell people that I said that. They would get mad. I got. I was worried about my statements, and I, it threw me off. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, fantastic. Oi! You make one brain dead toddler related joke, and all of a sudden karma just comes and flies directly into your face. Fine, fine, fine. Universe, I understand karmic balance. Eventually, you will deem. Eh. What I have done to be- my, my debts to be paid and allow me to proceed. Okay, first things first. Don't want those guys messing around. And we take care of you. Stop all of you. And there we go, I killed it. I killed it and I didn't even know that I did. Just two more terminals. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 Oh Lord! Regrets! I have a few. But then again, too few to mention. Okay. I wait. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, apparently that's been an option this entire time. Fair enough, universe! There we go. One more time! Oh boy, we've got orange ones. Those are like the red ones, but they're they're stronger, faster, better, and all that other, those, all those other words to that Daft Punk song. You know, the one Daft Punk song that everybody knew until they decided to become, like, super famous? That was weird. Seriously, they had, like, that one song back in the 90s, and then they were, like, completely gone for 15 years, or at the very least nobody bought or talked about their music for 15 years, and then, boom, suddenly they've got weird robot heads and are just considered the bee's knees of the music industry. Crazy how life works, huh? Also completely irrelevant to the, yes, the train's conversation. Yes, full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. Oh, hell yeah, let's reverse some polarity up in here. And launch these things like ballistic missiles. Let's see how the hole works out when I... Eh, chuck a giant vehicle through it. Out of the way, you. Ow, my face. Ow. My other face. Okay. Uh, ow. Go, 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 shoot, 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 ow, 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 ow. All right, well, that went about as poorly as it possibly could have. Luckily, they forcibly destroy themselves whenever they tackle me, but that's besides the point. I'd rather they not do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and vamanos! There we go. That should be getting Sly out of there. Let's see what happens. Bullseye. Sly, are you in there? Or have you been pancaked? Is such a thing possible? 
Oh, dearie me. I certainly hope not. Oh, I thought there would be more ground down here. Yes, congratulations. There is a tank. You have a tank. You must be very proud of yourselves. Feel free to continue to be proud of yourselves somewhere else. Okay, no. See, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, Lord. This is just a fine how do you do. Okay. 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 The wolves howl, and, and that's how they alert their, their dudes, in case you were wondering about which one of these things was the screamy, the screamy minion. Realistically, I should not have done this. And yet, somehow, I managed to persevere despite it. Oh, never mind, spoke too soon. <laughs> made, the, made the hard jump, it was the easy jump that was my reckoning. Ain't that just about the always the thing. Okay, if I can just get up there... I can activate the mission. I don't have to worry. Oh yeah, and I guess the bats do too. Weird. Maybe they both have the ability to alert people. Who knows? All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. And I will. Flight of the Valkyries! Boom ba chaka laka laka boom 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 nerd! Okay, 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 okay. Turtle terror, turtle terror. I feel like Bentley is working out some of his aggression issues on people that weren't actually relevant to uh, his hardships. I mean, this is as healthy an outlet as he's gonna get. Don't worry about it. We have almost got all of them. Boom, boom, chugga, chugga, boom. Be free, Sly. Be free. Sly, can you read me? How I've missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. <laughs> Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab the circle the button. button. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? <laughs> Your words were never said, wizard. Aww, he remembers the code name. Oh, that's such a nice moment. Okay, uh, I, I gotta be honest, I kind of want a shirt that just says J jump and hit the circle button. I don't know, maybe have a, a stylized version of, of, of Bentley. You know, do... Uh, you know, shouting it at the top of his little turtle lungs. I mean, even the voice actor of Bentley is aware that it's a it's a bit of a joke. At one point, I don't remember when or where, but like the voice actors for Sly, Bentley, and Murray were like on a radio show or something, and they did like a mock heist as the characters, where they were trying to like steal the the Colonel's KFC recipe, <laughs> and Bentley's plan basically quickly devolved into. Selling Sly to jump and hit the circle button. Which, not gonna lie, really resonated with me. Because I always thought that line was funny because it kept coming up so often. So the fact that they knew already and were able to make fun of it made me... It made me smile. Okay, but now that we have Sly back... Lovely. Well, aren't you just a big pile of butts? Hey, guess what? Now, up! Oh, okay, so that's how we're doing things, huh? No. Ow. No, I wanted that health. You suck. Come on, you want some of this? You want some of this, eh? All right, that takes care of all that. Oh. I was still on a job, apparently. <laughs> Oopsie.
I was looking for bottles.